Okay, this video does not need to be too long, but today we are talking about Patrick Kane, one of the top free agents in the NHL right now. 34 years old, 5'10", 176, a left-handed right-wing guy. We know what Patrick Kane has been capable of. The numbers go out there and spell it out right in front of our eyes. 57 points in 73 games played last year, 92 points in 78 games the year before that. Kane is a very talented player. And with all the updates going around with teams like Toronto, New York, Buffalo, Florida, floating around in there, all kind of getting their fingertips on the Kane conversation, we did have ourselves some interesting updates from just today, which is why I'm making this video, even though it's a bit late, even though a bunch of y'all who are fans of these teams may be sleeping right now. So, here's John Shannon. He does some work with Sportsnet once in a while, of course. We kind of recognize him from TV in the past. Patrick Kane, who has been training in Oatville, Ontario, is beginning the process of meeting with teams. And we're hearing he met with the Maple Leafs today. Now, the Leafs have emerged as, quote-unquote, one of the frontrunners in this entire thing because of this conversation. How Patrick Kane, starting out the process of going out there and talking to teams... Toronto is apparently first on his list, since he is right there in Ontario. Adding a guy like Patrick Kane to this top six would be very interesting. We've talked about this before, but the idea of Kane and Matthews, two of the best American players of all time, maybe even the two best, period, American players of all time, suiting up beside each other. Of course, they're separated by about a decade, but the skill set for Kane is still there. He plays Let's just say more like a flashier Mitch Marner with a bit of a shot, too. I'm not really too sure how well that comparison is going to go over. But Patty Kane over with the Maple Leafs would be interesting. Of course, having that Matthew Sniper combo with two playmakers like Kane and Marner would be nice. And if you're able to sign Kane to a cheaper cap hit than what you'd be able to get William Nylander for, then it might make a lot more sense to bring this kind of guy on board, especially if you continue to see good production out of him. 92 points in 78 games played just in 2021-2022 is indeed fantastic, but even his season last year was still pretty good, without Alex Dabrinkit and then getting traded onto a new team in New York. Speaking about that New York team, we had ourselves an article published by Larry Brooks just a few minutes ago, maybe like half an hour ago, talking about how the Rangers are not in the Patrick Kane sweepstakes this time around. So there you go. That's the update. We have Toronto first on the list for free agent meetings. New York, apparently they are not in this race. Take a look at this. The New York Post has been told that number 88 will not be returning for a Broadway encore. The Rangers, according to well-placed industry sources, have never been in the mix for the right winger who will turn 35 on Sunday. Sunday? Really? His birthday is in November? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, happy early birthday to Patrick Kane. November 19th. So, yeah. Wow. What timing, eh? He'll turn 35 on Sunday, and he has been skating on his own in Toronto for approximately the last six weeks after undergoing hip resurfacing surgery on June 1st. The Leafs, Panthers, Sabres, Red Wings, Stars, and Lightning are believed to be among interested parties who will meet with Kane over the next week. But of course, with the New York Rangers conversation bringing itself as a non-option, I did think this was important to go out there and note because there were some people going out there and wishing for a return to Broadway. We did talk about this in several videos that, hey, Kane could come back, but I don't really know how much of an impact that would actually make because the Rangers are already really good. And like, do they even need a guy like Patrick Kane in their middle of the top six? Like, there are a lot of questions that you could ask about this situation. But this is our short update that I wanted to bring to you here today. Patrick Kane met with the Maple Leafs. They're emerging as a frontrunner, and we have ourselves the Rangers who have opted out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Patrick Kane and the updates we have gotten. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.